In this video, we're gonna answer the question, how do you value your real estate for bankruptcy? So stay tuned, bankruptcy bailout buddies. Hello and welcome to Bankruptcy Bailout, because debt ruins lives, not bankruptcy. My name is Matt Burkus, Colorado bankruptcy and debt relief attorney, and today we're gonna to tackle the question of how do you value real estate or your home for bankruptcy. So if you're watching this video, hopefully you have a bankruptcy attorney and they gave you a questionnaire. And that questionnaire is asking you, do you own any real estate? And that's probably going to be your home. And we're gonna want a whole bunch of information about your home. We're gonna to wanna to know the address. We're gonna to wanna to know if you have any mortgages against it or any other liens against it. And most importantly, we're gonna to wanna to know how much is your property worth today? So, first of all, why is that question important? Well, here's the issue. Here's why we need to know that. Because you don't want to lose your home in bankruptcy. I assume that's true, right? So if you don't want to lose your home in bankruptcy, we need to figure out if your home can be protected in bankruptcy. So in nearly all states, or every state has some form of homestead ex exemption. And the homestead exemption works to protect the equity in your real estate. Now some states have a blanket homestead exemption, but for the most part, most states have what we call an equity exemption. And so far, and what that means is, a certain amount of equity will be protected. So in Colorado, where I practice, the equity exemption is $75,000. But the equity exemption ranges wildly among states. So we need to know how much your property is worth, how much your mortgage is, or the balance on your mortgage, so we can determine if your house is protected by that homestead exemption. So the value of your property is immensely important. So how do we go about determining the value of your real estate? So there's a couple different layers here of valuations that we can go through. Now, the first layer is, of course, or the easiest layer, is the online sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. Because you can go on there, plug in your property, and it'll give you its little Z estimate on what the property is worth. Now, that's a good starting point. I think in my experience, Zillow tends to overestimate the value of properties, but nonetheless, if your property, if the property value on Zillow would still lead to your home being protected in real estate, well, then we're fine, right? You don't really need to go any further than that. But Zillow is a starting point, all right? And if there would be no issues using the Zillow valuation and there's nothing weird in your situation, then we can use that valuation and you're fine. Uh, the next step, if the Zillow valuation is high or there's uncertainty in your real estate market or your property is, in, is unique or in a unique neighborhood, the next step is to get a current market analysis from a realtor. So most realtors know how to do this. And I think in most major cities, uh, there are a handful of realtors that bankruptcy attorneys use specifically for this purpose. But if you get a CMA, they're gonna look at comparable sales, use their expertise to say, okay, given the condition of the house, where it's located, and recent sales in the neighborhood, the house is gonna be worth, uh, or the value of the house is within a certain range. And again, if that range uh, gets us where we need to be, then we're done and we're good. So uh, current market analysis. And of course, the last layer, the most expensive layer, is a full-blown appraisal. So this is someone that comes out to the house, takes the measurements, will take into consideration the condition of the house, uh, and they do something very similar to a market analysis, but it tends to be a little more detailed than what the realtor does, because the realtor doesn't have to come out to the house necessarily. They can just do it from their computer uh, and maybe with a brief discussion uh, with the homeowner to understand if the house or if the property has any issues. All right, so there you go. That's really the three ways you can determine the value of real estate for the purposes of bankruptcy. Uh, the least costly method is just some sort of online uh, quick appraisal. 
or online quick valuation, which you can get from Zillow or Realtor.com or any other number of websites. Uh, the next level is a, an actual current market analysis from a Realtor. And then the last level is a full-blown appraisal. I can count on one hand over 18 years the number of times I've had to resort to a full-blown appraisal. So that's uncommon. Uh, if Zillow doesn't really get us where we need to be, or again, like I said, if there's something uh, unique about the neighborhood or the property, uh, then a current market analysis uh, will, nine times out of 10, get us where we need to be. Now, of course, if your house is worth too much, your house is worth too much. And then it's time, instead of considering bankruptcy, you're gonna need to go to some sort of plan B option. My name is Matt Burkus, Colorado bankruptcy and debt relief attorney. I offer free initial phone consultations to the residents of Colorado for the purposes of bankruptcy. Best of luck.